so tell me what, what brings you to this event in San Antonio tonight? Well, this event's in my neighborhood. My office is nearby uh, on West Travis near Santa Rosa Hospital. Uh, but I'm also brought here because this is such a critical issue to the future of our country, ensuring that individuals can get access to health care and that we have a well workforce assures us a competitive nation and a healthy nation in the future. So, so tonight's event is talking about um, where we stand with the Affordable Health Care Act and also what it means to women. So yes. talk about both of those things. Well, we've now had some 40 votes in the House of Representatives to repeal Obamacare. What we need is a effort across the board to strengthen and improve this health care measure. It's far from perfect. As I told one Tea Party group, I only wish it were as good as they thought it was bad. Uh, we need to make some improvements and changes in it, but it's so much better than the system we have now where people are at the mercy of insurance monopolies or have no insurance at all and where health care costs and insurance premiums continue to soar. For women, and I'm interested in its impact on women, being married to a professional woman, two professional daughters and now three granddaughters, concerned about what we are doing in this country in the impact on women. Uh, so many young women have been unable to get coverage or they have received coverage that has big exemptions such as for uh, having a baby. Uh, and we also find in some cases that being a woman is a pre-existing condition, that a wide range of things uh, that women experience are used as excuses not to provide full coverage under the Act. There are also many women who have been victimized by the fine print and insurance policies. I think of one woman in particular who came up to me in tears at a Relay for Life gathering a few years ago because her sister thought she had coverage for breast cancer, but there was a limitation in the policy and the hospital wouldn't begin the treatment until they figured out how to pay for all of the coverage that was necessary. So we see changes in that, put an end to gender discrimination, provide an end to pre-existing coverage and fine print limitations. I think that's a really a win-win for women in our country. And there's another reason we're, we're focusing on women. In so many families, it's the woman who will make the decision about what to do about health insurance coverage. So we want to bring to the attention of women here in the San Antonio area how much their families can gain from the Affordable Care Act. If they have a breadwinner in the family, who doesn't get insurance company through an employer, if they're a small business person and they haven't been able to afford to get insurance coverage, now's their chance. October 1st is when we begin signing people up. That's a big deadline, right? Big deadline. Coverage becomes effective the first of the year, but we have a period now from October to the end of the year to get people signed up. And we'll be reaching out at every health fair, at every opportunity, to engage and involve people, be sure they know about this new opportunity. Thank you.